Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the, the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Today we're going over some man shit. How about a minimalist wallet? Let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop some comments down below. Uh, if you use a different minimalist wallet, we are covering a bunch of them. We have the Ridge Review coming out. Uh, we already did one um, on the Esker wallet, and we have a couple more other ones coming out. Yeah, we got the, um, the Fosh. We got the, the oh, we did the Fosh. Sorry, we got the Volkit coming up. Yep. Some other ones, yeah. The other ones we were still working on, so we're, we're trying them all out. Um, this one though, I think is going to be uh, an excellent. Option for this people. one. This one. I'm gonna start off the video by saying I actually really liked well, it. Well, and, and first let's let's preface so, this by saying oh, we'll start off with drinking? what we're drinking. So we're drinking some Woodford Reserve Double Oat. Yep. Because uh, it's great bourbon. Obviously, if you guys watch us, you know we love our bourbon. Um, but now we can get into the wallet. So they sent us this, Matt. They did send us this. Um, however, we are gonna give an unbiased review. Because yep. that's what we do. We are getting paid to say what it is, or we like it, or we hate it, or anything. This is just, hey, try this out for us, and this is just 100% what we think of it. Yep. So Magnarista um, ended up saying, hey, we want you guys to try out a wallet. And they also gave us this keychain um, slash ID holder to try out. Um, the very first thing I'm going to say is we'll go over this thing real fast. Yeah. All right. This is an ID tag holder. Um, I might like my work ID and, and all my other... Uh, being a paramedic, I like to have some of the little handy stuff for medications and stuff. Uh, but if you're a nurse, if you're a doctor, if you're a first responder or whatever that's going to use ID tags to badge into everywhere, this thing has been the best thing ever. So we bought like 10 packs of the little cheap ones that, you know, like yep. you'd always have. You get a month um, or so out of them. You get maybe. a month or so, the maybe. rope breaks, everything like that. This one has a wire rope. And this thing is, I mean, it is, it's heavier. But this yeah. thing is heavy duty, and this thing has been the most impressive. I did. I never lost my ID tags. You know the little clip here always held. Um, this thing would go. Just you can feel the heavy dutiness of yeah. this. So if you're in healthcare, if you're a first responder, if you're using even if you're IT or whatever, and you're using this to badge in all the time. You know what I'm saying? This is probably going to be one of the best things ever. We're going to put a link down it, below. Yeah. Uh, it, it, for is, this. it is built with quality. You can feel it right from the from opening the package. Absolutely. Like, this is one. We're actually giving this one away. And we're also going to be giving away the wallet today. So what we're going to do is as we review some of these products, we're going to give them away. But um, we will end up buying another one of these just because of the quality of it. It never broke. I mean, I'll sleep in an ambulance with this thing. So obviously, it'll pull down as I sleep and twist and turn. But I'll tell you, this thing is held up phenomenally. Um, now, Pat, let's go over the wallet. So cool. this this wallet is pretty similar to the Ridge. Yep. Right? So I actually have the Ridge here, and you can actually see the size difference. If it wasn't for these little bump-ups right here on the edges, there would be no size difference. It is the exact same. Um, and it's still a whole lot smaller compared to your traditional wallets like I used to carry. And now once you fill this up with stuff, it is going to be really, really thick, really, really huge. Bulky. I was going to say, if we put all these cards into there. Oh, yeah. It's going to fill this thing right up and it's going to be huge. And then you start storing papers and all the other junk in there. The best thing about the minimalist wallets is, is they force you to declutter, which is the best thing in the world. Not only declutter, you can still hold a good amount of stuff with this. Yeah, this one's able to hold uh, up to, what, 12 cards, I believe? Yeah, 1 to 12 cards. Um, it's got the RFID blocking, just like the Ridge has as yep. well. Um, and what I love about this one is, so it's aluminum alloy. It has the cash strap on the back, um, and it has the nylon elastic that sort of holds the, the thing together, just like the Ridge. So you can, you, depending on how much you stretch it, depends on how many cards you're going to be putting into here. Yep. Uh, it's got the little finger push on the bottom, so you can push your cards up and sort of, you know, thumb through to get to the one that you want to get to. Um, but my favorite part about this is it's got a polycarbonate ID spot on the front. So all I have to do, and we, we, I'll admit, we probably go bourbon hunting way too much. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, wait, this, this, this is definitely recording, and you just said that? Maybe. Okay, I just want to make sure I had that on tape. I hate always having to open up a wallet, try to get yeah. out your, your ID, yep. or even this thing. You gotta push it up, then you gotta you know fish through fish to through get it. to the one. So that's that's one thing I don't like about the ridge. And, and here's the other thing: yes, we look more than old enough to not be carded. However, because there's so many st 
stupid towns in this area that are going to go, I'm not going to get into their politics or anything with it, but it has to do with some of that stuff. And they ID everybody. If you're a freaking 70 years old, you still have to mm -hmm. show your ID. It's a town law. I mean, come so I on, I have to people. go like this now. Yeah, this is that was the most annoying thing is trying to just dig your ID out for something stupid, yep. and you have to fish through that. That's the one thing I don't like about the race. And if they do make you take it out, all you do is just push up on the bottom, pops right out of the top. So simple. This thing took my hassle down tenfold over the ridge. That that one feature will outsell this wallet should outsell the ridge because of that one feature. How about this? The ridge wallet. You're looking at ninety dollars right now with on sale or whatever seventy something dollars. That's if you don't get the air tag holder and everything else. This one, take a guess on the price. I don't know, forty bucks. So on their website, twenty nine ninety eight. You go onto Amazon right now. These things are nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. This is a buy all day long at nineteen ninety nine. Oh yeah. So this thing we put through it, the, the the ringer. At, buy four of them on Amazon. And give three of them away as a Christmas gift, and you're still cheaper than the rich. Cheaper than the rich. Absolutely. So we put this thing through through the thing, and you know, I at sometimes I had a lot more cash in here. Um, I'm not a big fan of the cash straps or the money clips. I'd rather have a strap than just a clip. You can go either way with the ridge, as you can see. When I did this ridge, I did do the strap, um, just because I, I always hate losing money. If I work hard for my money, I don't want to lose it. Um, but I'll tell you, I never had a problem accessing my money. I never had it, even with it going in and around our pocket. So I, in our EMS pants, we had the big cargo pocket that we put these into. Um, and I never had to worry. Like It was yep. flying around in there. The cash never moved. Um, so that was phenomenal. Um, and the cards, like I said, getting to the cards wasn't bad. Uh, it, it holds, um, I think I have seven cards. So I'm not all the way up to 12. Um, but it's, you know, it held everything nice and tight. Uh, it is, and it's just something that takes getting used to is being able to pop this up and, you know, finger through to the one that you want to get to. And what I always do is I use the one that I always have the, in the use in the back. That way it's really easy to sort of pop up that one and, and just finger through them less. Mm -hmm. Um, but overall, this thing was a joy. Sometimes I didn't even realize it was in there. Same thing with the Ridge. I didn't realize it was in my pocket sometimes just because it's so small. When you're going down from one of those big wallets to more of a minimalist wallet, yep. that's something that's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Um, but this thing, I mean, so this one comes in at, I want to say it was like three and a half tie, or three and three eighths by two and a half. So it's a, it's a really small wallet. Yep. If you take away these little ridges again, it's literally the size of a credit card. Um, and with the aluminum alloy and everything, it's super lightweight. It's it's just, I think it's a great wallet. At the price being literally almost a quarter of the price of the Ridge, yep. I think this is a, a buy all day long at that price. So, and, and I'm going to say, from my point of view, so I am not a fan of these wallets. I actually still have the um, Fox wallet that we reviewed with the pop-up. Um, because I like having my money inside because this, I just, I always get sketched out and feel like I'm going to lose it. Trying this one did not lose it, but I still just don't like that feeling. So for me personally, I wouldn't go with either of these. I'm going to stick with one of the uh, pop-up style ones. Um, but however, if I had to choose between the Ridge and this one, 100% I would take this thing just because this ID feature Makes it so much far, so, so much better than that uh, ridge. Yeah. After using them both, because um, I've used both of them now for um, uh, just over a month, actually. And uh, so I used the ridge first, then I switched and I went to this other one. And I got to say, I I wasn't impressed with this. I was actually happy to get rid of the ridge. Yep. Um, and then I went to this one, and I still was a little uncomfortable with the, the feel of it. I got used to it at the end. And like I said, the the cash thing I, after you know after a month of not having the cash move at all, yeah, made me less worried about it. But just the fact that my ID was right there made my life so easy that I was like, you know what, this is worth it. So me personally, if I'm spending my own money and I'm going to go out and buy these, um, and I did, we paid our own money for the Ridge. Yep. Uh, this one, like I said, they did send us. But if I had to pay for it on my own. I would, and I would buy this one over the Ridge. And I have actually been talking to some friends who also had the same thing, and I said the same thing to them. I'm like, look at both of these two, 
I'm like, these are the reasons why I'd go with this one, pros and cons list. And I just think it's the, the build quality is basically the same. Yeah. The, the biggest difference is going to be this one's got the ridges, so it's going to be a little bit bigger, which I personally don't mind. Um, but the ID thing, I think, is what sells it over the ridge any day of the week. Yeah, I agree. So that's our review. Uh, let us know down below, is there a minimalist wallet you guys use? Um, or even if it's not minimalist, like just some other things, like like the uh, you got the Fosh wallet. Yep. Um, you know, anything like that, we'd love to, you know, try out some new things, do some reviews on them. Um, and even other things like this, like I said, this is a great, you know, ID holder, keychain holder, anything like that. Um, so any products you guys want to see us try, put them down in the comments down below uh, so we can, you know, buy some stuff or whatever and do a review, do reviews and, and let you guys know what we think of it all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, we have to give this one away, Pat. Okay. So, and we're going to give away this keychain too. Do you want the same person or you didn't do... We're going to do two different winners this time. Okay. All right. So in our next week's review, which next week's review will be for the Ridge Wallet, um, we will pick the two winners. Okay. Um, so the very first winner will get the wallet. The second winner will get this. Um, let's do hashtag... Mag Maganista? Uh, yeah. We'll do that. Let's do two of them. Ready? That for the first one. Um, and then... Man shit for the second one. Hashtag man shit. Okay. All right. So the hashtag manurista and then hashtag man shit in the comments down below. Be a subscriber. Like this video. And you guys can have a chance to win both of these. Um, and uh, like I said, we'll pick next Monday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow us over on Patreon. We have a lot more reviews, a lot more other stuff that we're going over. Uh, everybody have a good day.